Hello, and welcome. I'm Zinder, and uh, well, in between, I found another ship, ripped it apart, set up a uh, Tim, and also a bearing thing, which you can see is not visible on my screen, but now it's at the top. It's been a bit buggy for me, but it's useful. Spider's still doing spidery things. So, uh, the, the text HUD mod, that's actually where the bearing is shown. And then, that's placed on, this is just the bearing script, which is Whip's Planetary Bearing and Compass Script. And then, Tim is Taladin's Inventory Manager, which, well, uh, if you remember the Automatic Inventory Sorting mod, pretty much the same thing. It does all of that, plus a little bit more. Because it also ends up including things like automatic uh, uh, ma matching quotas if you want to. Yeah. So, that's a thing. Uh, this is the Gargoyle PD laser from Directed Energy Warfare. Because when I changed the camera texture back off of New Eden to the high tech camera overlay so we can actually see what's going on. Now, I'm not entirely sure how big this base is. Looks decently large, I think. Mm. It's alright. Okay, I see. It looks to be at least. Wow, there's a lot of turrets there. Okay. Now, I'm not entirely sure. I believe vanilla turrets have a range of 800 meters. Whether or not they actually engage at that range is a different story. Uh, technically, the turret, this turret, claims 750 in the config, but can I damage from beyond that? I don't think so. It doesn't do a fantastic amount of damage, and it quote-unquote overheats. That's why I, you know, become unable to keep shooting it. Okay, I haven't been shot at yet. I'm not actually sure if I'm hitting it. I should consider putting, uh shields on this, but... Eh, what are you gonna do? Mm. I don't know if I can actually hit it from here, and I can't use any of the other turrets from this right now. Oh, that's a start. Okay, so that's, there's not actually a turret there, there's only a door. So I can hit that, but I can't, oh. So the important part of this is I actually do not want to destroy the turrets. I think that might be the uh, maximum of my range. Oh, oh, never mind. What about you then? If I keep blasting at you, can I actually hit you or do I need to move up? Let's fire one more set at it. So anyhow, I found a crashed ship and salvaged it and one of the cargo containers or something must have had a ton of uranium, because I've got almost 600 in each one. And that's... Making this takes three of these, that laser up there. And as you can see, it takes ten uranium, ten platinum, and whatnot each. So I actually burnt through quite a bit of... A decent bit of uranium making this. Do you see what I mean by it doesn't do a whole ton of damage? But at the same time, that makes it a nice precision tool. 
Oh, and I had to slap two more thrusters on this vehicle. And if you can see there, I renamed it to the Frog because it looks a lot like one. At least in my opinion. I just want to take out all exterior turrets with precision lasering. I refuse to believe there isn't a turret stuck to the back of this. The idea here is I actually want to try and keep this alive because I need a base of operations. And I am not against commandeering from pirates. Okay, I don't see anything. Now normally, I would go into these things and explore them and take them over via breaking things, grinding doors, this, that, and everything else. But, like I said, I want to keep things intact as much as I can. So, we're going to do something different to these pirates. Oh god! No, 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 no! Off, please. This is the entire group, right? Okay, good. The last thing I want to do right now is rip this apart. Uh, do I have... This is the script, right? Yeah. That'll automatically queue things. Let me make sure the assembler is in assembly mode. Okay, build and repair, group one. I want you to not do any of these things right now. I should be able to turn you back on now. These spiders are gonna play havoc with me. So, this is where we're gonna grab our friend the hacking computer. Uh. Yeah, I don't have enough superconductors. That's fine. The system should create those for me. What? He's on my head! So I took the components for one. But, uh... Oh, that's a half block. I'm not gonna make just one. I don't want to stick them on in a funky way. Yeah, that classifies as a funky way. Now, yeah, it should be crafting superconductors and it will finish these as it gets them. Yeah, I was talking to uh, one of my friends about this. The whole goal of this series is to avoid doing mining as much as possible. By the way, isn't this some beautiful ice? Oh, ruined it with bullet holes. We'll get a better look at it from up inside there if we can. Okay, so this is running. Uh, I don't know how many blocks are remaining, but... The percentage you successfully hack something is based entirely on the numbers, number of computers in it. So, like, doors have two, so they're pretty, they're pretty decently easy to hack. Button panel 8, 1 in 20. Well, this is the button panel. It has 20 computers, so... Yeah. And the door, sliding door 1 and 2. I don't know what sliding doors have, but... Why am I giving it the right to repair this? It, this will only have 556 five, ammo, of which I have like 5800 of. That's correct. So with three of these, it'll be a lot quicker to get stuff hacked. That's the fun part here. Um, you can target characters. I want you to not target anything else, so you don't go shooting at the buildings. Looks like all these doors are hacked right now.
Do I dare open? No, it's not mine. It's funny because this is built by me. Hmm, whatever. So, every time it flashes red, as far as I'm aware, I believe that is a failure to hack. And let's see if we can get it. There, a green flash. That is a successful hack. But I don't know what it hacked. Uh, there is three interior turrets left standing. Just these ones that it repaired should be the ones on the outside. Although it's hard to tell, it looks like it's actually hacked quite a few now. Is there any left alive? Looks like all the turrets are hacked. Okay. Uh, depressurize on... I believe that's what it said it's doing. Oh, can't access the vent. I'm not sure if this van is running or not. I don't have uh, air tightness enabled. Where are you? Yield module. So there's a refinery here. But it looks like it's got only one module attached. Oh, there's another refinery. Okay. Another airlock. Here's an interior turret. Goodbye, friend. Empty cargo container. Small reactor, it's got uh, 10 in it. There's some ice. Healing turret ammo. That'll be decent enough to break down if I need magnesium. Let's just turn you off. As for the rest of these, don't really care. I do want them not being able to remotely shoot at itself, though. Set to 600 meters. Is the Gatling set to the same thing, I wonder? Yeah. I assume most of them are spawned in with default settings, I guess. I would assume. Assuming it's terrible, but you know how it is. Okay, oxygen generator. Okay, this is another outside airlock. Button panel I don't have control of. Oh. Put it back. Fix it. Hmm. And I'm just gonna leave all the doors open, because I don't really care. Don't run into a door like an idiot. And it probably just looted my corpse. Didn't it? So, fun fact. I also found a couple upgraded tools. And I have an elite grinder and an elite on mag rifle because I could. So yeah, I picked up my stuff. Oh, bottles. I'm pretty sure I'm flying right now and wasting hydrogen. Where? Oh, there's only way up here. Okay. So, let's go have a bit of a finish exploring this. You know, I have a perfect vehicle blueprint. It's actually somebody else's uh, blueprint. I remember who it is. But the thing is, most of the blocks are missing. It's got some depreciated mods involved stuff like that, so I had to re-edit it and make it... It's practically vanilla-friendly. The only difference is, is I'm using high-power batteries and small ship glass to make it work. Uh, what? Let's go check over here. Let's see what this is. Ooh, cryo chamber. 
might make that go away, though. You are an assembler. But you have two speed modules on you. Might be able to upgrade you slightly. Here's the top of the refineries and the nuclear reactor. Okay, very nice. Probably will block. Oh, really? Oh, it's blank. Okay. Hey, in a medical room. Wait, aren't the oxygen generators on? Yeah, okay, refilled my hydrogen. Uh, all in all, it's pretty good. Is there another one over here, or are you just a mirror of yourself? What? Oh, okay. I'm just gonna leave you alone then. So how big is this room? Eh. Not as large as I was hoping. Oh well, fair enough. I can work with that. Uh, it's a decent enough place. I was kind of hoping for, like, some large storage or something. Oh, is it really? Well, hello there. See, so you found my friends the interior turrets. I think this might be capable enough of being considered a base. It's got refineries, which I shouldn't really need. I don't know. Maybe I should tear them down. Or at least tear one down. Hmm. Yeah. That sounds like a pretty alright idea. pretty decent. Let's see if I can get a look. Whoops, how'd that happen? So, there's nothing in any of these cargo containers from the looks of it. Fully loaded oxygen tanks, I assume, because this should be depressurizing. How many cargo containers did this have? Two? Two. Hmm. I might have to do some repurposing of things, but I think this can function as a decent home base. Here's the thing. It doesn't really have anywhere to build or anything like that. Close these doors. But I think I don't really have a good way to build a blueprint. Yep, everything's taken over, you can tell by this. So now I gotta do. Oh god. That was almost a terrible mistake. Last thing I wanna do is delete my handy dandy little thing there. Okay, so there's a connector on the bottom of that. I don't... There's a connector on the side there, but that's not... How much hydrogen is in you, my friend? Oh, a completely filled hydrogen tank? Oh, yes. Solar's on the roof. And it... It had ate the other Gatling gun. That's fine. You can actually eat this one, too. I think... With a little bit of rebuilding, we can make it better. Larger. Stronger. Why is there a spider inside the place? Ah, uh, spiders. Ah, uh, turrets. What? You shouldn't be able to reach 
reach that far. How is that empty? I didn't loot it. So I don't remember looting it. Hmm. Small problem. There's not really any rooms in here large enough to put a large cargo container. I don't know. Maybe it's not a very good base. We'll keep it. Keeping it sounds good. Keep a hold of it until we find something better. Where are all these locked? Because they're vents. And vents are generally off. Mm, that's fine. Yeah, like right there. Eh, I can't get to that. There we go. So building repair system should fix any of these I grind down. And turn them to me. In theory. Ooh. Just gonna grind these down. Maybe, maybe see if I can't uh, build a nice little blueprint of a wheeled vehicle. How many airlocks are left? Oh, here's an air vent. Grind that down. Not one in here. I guess the easiest way now is to just find a terminal of some kind. Okay, they're all incomplete. Very good. So, if nothing else, I have a place that I can emergency return to should anything go horribly wrong. So let's, you know what, let's leave that out there. Should have enough things in theory, well, even if I don't, I can make stuff pretty easily. So let's set up a block. I also have a script I want to test. May or may not work properly, I'm not sure. Uh, and of course, it's going to be very rude and require me to put one of these on. Don't worry, I'll do it myself. Right, wrong one. Yes, it's the QSX zipper. Well, that's conveniently placed. But yes, it uses the uh, Esmuth open cockpit. Not the no oxygen version. I thought I put no oxygen on it. It could be no oxygen anyhow. I'm not sure. I don't remember what edits I made to it, but I believe it's just the same seats it had. It's got some rear thrust, it's got some down thrust. However, for this uh, script, you're gonna need a couple friends, one of which. Oh, you haven't quite built that yet. Well, I'll put it here then. You're gonna want a downward facing camera. I don't really need any other thrusters, just some up thrust and some rear thrust. Those things are getting slightly annoying. This shouldn't take too much longer to build. But yes, this is the QSX zipper, I 
believe it was. Uh, once it finishes building, well, oh, no, I should be able to just press F10. Uh, here it is. Can I open in workshop? This is by Quantum Joe. It was published literally like two years ago. The mods it's supposed to use is slope LCDs, which I didn't put in at all. As you can see, they go there as a sort of cockpit thing. Uh, the reworked armor ramps mod, there's armor ramps in the game, so I just replaced it with those, so that's not necessary. Uh, the mega mod pack for azimuth seats, not needed. Like, I just went with the cockpit version, it's fine. And with the small ship mega mod pack, I just used the small ship glass, which I believe is actually made by the same person. Just so you don't need the whole pack to get the glass. Is it done? I think it's done. I think it just started welding up the other things as well. thing wrong here was that. Like I said, I have a script. Oh, so I need a programmable block, a timer. I don't know how well the script works. Of course I do. Drop in a programmable block, the timer in a very obtrusive location. Uh, I don't believe I need anything else on here for this to function, technically. Let's get in here and see if I start suffocating. Okay. Cool. So, programmable block. This is just partly because I want to test this, and I'm going to see how well this works. Uh, it is the DAS driver assisting system. Uh, open it in the workshop. Did I click open the workshop? Now I did. But, first, I need to put it in. Do you have configuration information in here? I don't think it does. Like, it says to do things, but there's some other specific things you need to set up. Which is why we have this open. So this is the DAS driver assisting system by Wanderer308. Still being updated, November 26th. So, it's got a ton of features. I recommend looking it out looking it up. This is why I wanted to use it, because I was curious. Oh, right. I forgot another block. My bad. This is also required. A remote control, which having one's pretty nice anyhow, so. Okay, what it says to do... It says that you need to set up I thought you had to set up a camera in a certain way. Stop lights you do. Uh, camera? Maybe it doesn't? Do I have backlights? No. You know what? Let's get some. Oh, and it did have spotlights here originally, but you can't do that now because these are the keen ones, so I put some just lights on the front. Could you stop rolling, please? So, what you're supposed to do is make a group called Stop Lights that contains nothing other than lights. Whoa. 
Let's pull this outside before we start messing too heavily with it. Oh. Whoa. Okay, timer block. One second. Actions. Programmable block. Wait. Do you need a programmable block? I'm confused. Oh, you need a timer. It says to use it. Run with argument update. Okay. And then... So that'll do that. And then it says to put the... Oh, God. Programmable block. No, 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 not that. Help! Everything's gone wrong. Help! It's all gone horribly wrong. Should not have ran the timer block. Okay. Now that you've righted yourself, are you going to calm down? I think it has calmed down. Okay. Things may not have gone perfectly. By the way, it removes access to, like, the gyros and everything. So you can't just turn normally with gyros, but it uses gyro assisted turning. Let's go reclaim my things from the boat and repair system. Which one of you scooped it up? You got those. That. I think I accidentally clicked something else. Uh, yeah, so I'm basically just kind of loading the extra things into here. So, okay, so that looks good. There we go. That was weird. I guess I'm going to need to put a new projector on it. Wah, wah. Or just put a projector on it, I suppose. Okay, now that you've built that, I'm going to need you to stop. I want to get this tested, and once again I've gone much farther than I meant to. Oh, uh, I thought the turrets would handle it. This is what I get for trying to rely on the turrets. I got exactly what I deserved. All I'm gonna say on that one. Really? Really? They gonna be like that. It 
picked them up, right? Maybe it didn't. I'm gonna go out there, loot my body, and then it's gonna pick them up. Okay, well, my gun was on the floor, so that's a thing. I'm very good at going over my intended time. Don't click remove. Okay, where... Where is this? It is very much upside down. How's that look? Spotlight is there. No. You know, I've almost got this, I think. Let's just make my life easier. I know that I didn't need to turn down the HUD, but I wanted to. There? That looks good. Keep projection. We good? I think we're good. Just wanted to make sure it was started. I want to get in the other seat. Let's, uh... Have a drive around, I suppose. So if I turn too sharp, oh god. Hmm. Oops. It's accelerating quite slowly. This isn't. Oh, okay. Inertia sensors aren't on. And as you saw it, oh. when you're decelerating, although it's giving me weird acceleration lag, you know what I mean. Pressing S to stop doesn't work very well, in case you're wondering. Spacebar works quite nicely, though. program is clearly not flawless. But uh, considering you have to go in menus and tinker with things yourself, it's pretty good actually. I'll give it that. A little bit uh, aggressive on the gyro usage, but then again, that's probably because I have two of them. Yeah, it disables gyro control by the player. Disables thruster control by the player. Whatever. I'll let you get picked up by the system. And I'm just going to park this in here for the moment. And I'm going to waste potentially a bunch of resources.
I'm gonna put this up here. Here, my brogs. And because we don't want it to get accidentally identified by something else, the whole base is now mine. You know what? Let's do it to this too. There we go. We're going to identify my stuff with a nice dark green color. Radar dome appears to be active and blinding. Uh, what I want. I'm just gonna stay not looking at it for everybody else's uh, benefit as well. I'm just gonna use this to set it. downside of this is I think in order to make that work I'm going to need a seat. I don't think it will broadcast over antennas. Unfortunately. These out there. You know what? Whatever. I'll just go with one of these seats. Why not? Oh, of course I do, and let me guess, I have nothing I can hijack them out of. Yeah. It'll rebuild that, and I get my interior plates. And everybody was happy. Except for the spiders. So, now... Tiny Station, 5.61... Really? But, since I've once again gone way too long, that's where we're gonna go the next time. I just wish it would broadcast that over antennas. Maybe that's an option and I've missed it. Your radar, your radar is off. Not an option. Anyhow, that is that way. So that's what we'll pick up next time. Maybe we'll try to drive the buggy. That that's a long distance for the buggy. I don't know why I made the buggy. I just felt like it. I wanted to test the script. 15 minutes of, you know, messing with a buggy because I could. But I'm going to call this good, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good day.